Ooh, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Now, in the past I've written and uh, talked quite a bit about the Redfly mobile companion that you see over here. This is actually the C8N model that has the uh, port for video and the larger display compared to the uh, C8 model. Now, I've had my Redfly uh, for well over a year, I believe now, and they've been working on, uh, came out with drivers for Windows Mobile, and they've been working on drivers for other platforms. Um, as we saw at uh, CTIA, they had a demonstration of an Android um, developmental uh, driver. But first, we see that there is a driver that we see today that is for the BlackBerry platform. And I believe it's primarily uh, at, first, at launch will be for the BlackBerry Bold, the Curve um, 9700, I believe, and the BlackBerry Tour to start off with um, as they continue to test on other platforms. So the BlackBerry is a bit different than Windows Mobile. Windows Mobile, they were able to get into the um, root level of the operating system and do some things there. Here we have, they had to use the application layer. So what you'll see is we connect uh, via USB or Bluetooth. Um, they actually told me that uh, USB is much faster because the Bluetooth has some limitations on speed on the um, on the BlackBerry. So um, we won't be able to, well I'm not going to show that. I've tested it and it is slower so I recommend you use the cable. Which is better anyway because then you get to uh, to also you know charge up the BlackBerry at the same time. So what we can see here with the difference being between Windows Mobile and the BlackBerry is that on the BlackBerry you actually have both screens showing. It is just outputting the screen. It's not actually uh, doing what Windows Mobile does and completely taking over the display. So a couple things with that is you're still able to use the navigation and, um, and other controls on the BlackBerry itself if you'd like to kind of like an external mouse with a trackball or something. And then on the screen you can see there is some black um, over on the sides. Um, some different, uh, so it doesn't fill the whole screen. It is stretching it as much as possible, but it's not outputting to a different resolution similar to what the way that the uh, Windows Mobile does. All right, so then um, a couple things that we have is with the BlackBerry, you know, they have the trackball on them. So on the Redfly, the trackpad simulates some of that trackball. So as I put my finger on the trackpad and move it, you can see a small little virtual uh, trackball. And then I move it uh, side to side, you can see that it lights up that particular direction that I'm moving my finger on the trackpad itself right left up and down okay now what I also what I thought at first was that a, a tap on the trackpad would uh, be the selection key but actually it's the left the left mouse button is the action selection key if uh, you're using the trackpad navigation left and right okay and there's some other keys on here that uh, if you press on the red fly menu button as you can see it goes through the menus so I'll go ahead and go back. So if I press it the first time, we're back in USB and um, just wanted to run through some of the buttons here. There's the Alt I see don't, doesn't do anything. The arrow keys will control up and down and navigation and menus and things like that. Um, left soft key. Oh, I hit the display mode. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Left soft key acts like the left soft key does on the device. Same with the right menu key there. Which are the two buttons that are on the um, side of the BlackBerry. The left and right is what I meant there. The BlackBerry key and the back key. Sorry about that. Those simulate that. And let's see what else about this. Uh, let me also show the uh, unlike the Windows Mobile one that has a mouse, this one doesn't, so it's like a trackball. But let me show the uh, the Redfly controller. I forgot about that. 
because you can uh, go up here and then you can see there's some different controls. So we see Bluetooth, input, power, hotkeys. So if I select that, you can see that the uh, we can map a couple of the hotkeys for the home, mail, web browser buttons. minutes to get used to the left and right menus. Um, let's see what else we have. Let's just run down through these. Hockey's advanced. Stretch the screen image enabled. Allow Bluetooth is enabled. Select input just to show you this. So speed of your tight touchpad. Disable when mouse is connected. Disable tap support and key repeat and then you can do some tests with the keyboard as well. Now one thing that they also did that uh, I discovered was they updated the way that the um, driver is uh, installed. It comes, uh, you can get it installed for the Blackberry. Now I had this red fly from previously with Windows Mobile and it had uh, two files, a cab file for installing the red fly driver and for updating the firmware on the red fly now that's all in one installation so that you first update the software on the device then when you connect the red fly if there's an update it will install that to make that a more automated process so there's a quick look at the blackberry version of the red fly mobile companion uh, application and solution it's nice if uh, you need to enter a lot of data Primarily with email, right? With uh, the BlackBerry, um, you'll be able to enter a lot of email on a big keyboard like this versus on your BlackBerry device. Um, and also, you know, with uh, documents to go and using those Word and Excel solutions, you actually get a lot of work done with such a device as this. And being that the BlackBerry is quite popular in the enterprise, imagine that these red flies should do quite well with the enterprise as well since they are something that can be given out to somebody to take with their smartphone and not have to worry too much about uh, what might happen to that device. Thanks for watching.